was the red one behind the figures. So I don't want to hear it when I say <laughs> anything. Let's watch. <laughs> I need to start waking up before midday. I'm very tired. I, I just didn't sleep very good <laughs> last night. You'll have to forgive me if I seem out of it. I'm hoping I'll wake up as we make this. <laughs> Nintendo finally announced a new Switch. And I have mixed emotions. My immediate reaction, which you guys didn't get to see as I groggily woke up in bed, was pure and utter excitement at how gorgeous this new Switch looks and all the features it has. But as I lied there, mulling it over, waiting to get out of bed, I kind of bummed myself out. And it, it was partly me and it was partly just looking at Twitter and everyone else's reaction and me reading everyone else's reaction like, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Hold on a second, what the heck? <laughs> but let's just look at the actual thing first for anyone that hasn't seen it so you can make your own mind up. This is the Nintendo Switch OLED model. Immediately, chef's kiss, Nintendo. You've done it. You've done the main thing other than hardware that I wanted to change and that I've been talking about for years now. You brought that squeak. You brought that screen out right to the edges with a gorgeous OLED screen. Seven inch. You gotta love a seven incher. Even looking at some of the trailer here, you can see how much bigger it looks, how much bigger it feels. I gotta stop saying things that you guys can use out of context. Something else that's really nice. These white Joy-Cons, gorgeous. You know, nothing that hasn't already been done with modifications, but getting official white Joy-Cons alongside the release of Metroid Dread, really great idea and looks really sleek. It's gonna match a lot of people's PlayStation 5s. But the console launches October 8th alongside Metroid Dread. You have a white Switch. The game has a white thing in it, so it does make sense. And the dock is white too. It, it all looks very sleek, very new. I love the way it looks. It is gorgeous. You go higher than we ever been before. With a Switch that's pretty much the same as before. We, uh, there's, <laughs> there's no D-pad, that's fine. It would, it would have been nice, but that's just a little thing I've always wanted. Again to play Breath of the Wild 2 before me. I don't like that. Dude couldn't even wait to get home. Like immediately in the door, drops the keys, sitting in his entry hallway on the little thing where you like, you're supposed to take your shoes off and he's just like, it's Pokemon time, baby. I'm not even getting comfy. I'm sitting on this uncomfortable shoe box. All right, this, this is good. The, the Switch stand sucks. And Nintendo obviously know the whole thing is a stand now. The entire back is a stand, much sturdier. So you have like a really wide kickstand and I like it. It's also adjustable, which is even better. Even it's, oh, so good. Enhanced audio is nice. I actually thought the base switch had pretty good audio. It is nice to know that there are better speakers in this thing. That dock is gorgeous, by the way absolutely gorgeous i love how it's all rounded there's something about that that it looks like the switch 2 right there if you didn't know any better if you didn't know it had barely changed <laughs> that looks like the switch 2 just there i love it mm, i love the back of this dock now uh i don't know why i just think it the back looks good too the fact that the plate comes off completely which is so much easier and nicer to work with and then the only other change, the physical change to the dock is they've added an ethernet port, uh, which is good. Um, I don't really, I mean, I, my, I'm i upstairs. I don't really have a way of bringing an ethernet cord all the way upstairs, but the wireless on the switch and the dock have always been pretty poor. So rather than having to buy the adapter now, there's actually an ethernet port in the dock. That should have been there from the start. It's nice that they added it. It just looks so good next to that TV, doesn't it? The white, I love that. I love the, even the color alone just feels fresh. It just feels better. The black dock, nah, yeah. It was just so ugly. It was so dated. From when it released, it was dated. 
Like from day one, it looked dated. There's this big black brick sat next to my TV. Blech. And there's just some people playing, you know, Ring Fit. We've seen Ring Fit, we know Ring Fit. Been playing Ring Fit, been ignoring Ring Fit. Nintendo Switch OLED model, available October 8th. <laughs> sorry, sorry, hold on. Let me, uh, you know, ugh, God. Again, when I saw it this morning, I was really excited. And I, I still am. And I know when I get it in my hands, I'm going to love it. And I'm going to think it's the coolest thing ever. And I'm going to scream and yell and be super excited. Also, playing in handheld with this thing is going to be awesome. You know, playing the new Breath of the Wild when it comes out, going back and playing some other games on this new, bigger, crisper OLED screen. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna look nice. It's gonna feel nice. But there is like this bittersweet side of it, almost like a, almost leaning more towards the bitter. And I can't, I can't, I can't help it, man. I can't help it. I'm trying really hard not to be negative, Nancy. I like being the person that yells and screams and gets excited for everything Nintendo and everything gaming. But I've been doing that for months and for years about a Switch Pro, about a better revision of some kind. And I've been realistic, you know, I, I was the person that wanted just a little bit, just a little bit. You know, I, I we, we talked about a different NVIDIA chip in there that enhanced the gameplay artificially. So it just wasn't really an improvement, but it would still look better. Just little things Nintendo could do to slap that new sticker on it, and it would be better, better hardware, technically. None of that is here. And I can't help but feel a little like there isn't really a huge reason to get this Switch. Beyond, of course I'm gonna get it. Like, of course I am. And of course, I'm gonna move everything over to that Switch too, because it's my new one and it's got a better OLED screen. As far as playing in handheld mode goes, this is quite a big upgrade, but the dock side of it has not really been improved at all. I mean, sure, there's an ethernet port on the dock, but when you're sat with it docked, which is a whole half of this hybrid system is playing docked, you're not gonna notice any difference at all, whether you're playing on this or you're playing on a previous generation of Switch. There's literally going to be zero difference there so if you're primarily a docked player which i'm kind of 50 50 split but when it comes to playing the big new releases i always play docked so knowing that playing on my tv even the new games they're still going to be stretched up to 4k with no help or you know there's a little part of me that's like stop being negative let's look at twitter the, these are just the thoughts that are running through my head i hate to be that guy the box looks gorgeous I, just, I do think that says something that so many people, like the most, the thing they're excited about the most is how good the box looks that it comes in. $349 and our favorite thing is the box looks nice. <laughs> What, what has what has the entertainment industry done to us as consumers, guys? Like really take a step back and think about how our brains are being manipulated. I legitimately am excited to get this in part because the box looks nice. And it and the and the switch is white now. Sure, I'll buy another one for $50 more than the previous one. Let's talk about that price actually. The price baffles me a little bit. I get that it's a better screen and a better screen costs more, but nothing else has changed and the Switch has been out now for almost five years so the components everything in it everything that cost what it cost when it launched has come down in price there is such better stuff out there that the outdated hardware of the switch should be relatively cheaper to make so adding in an oled screen shouldn't really increase the price 50 dollars it should really just keep it around the same. I don't really get the extra $50 price tag here other than they can and it'll still sell. And that's the thing, like no matter what they released, it could have just been white and it would have sold off the shelves with no other improvements. It kind of feels like Nintendo did the absolute bare minimum they had to do to release a console that they could charge more for. And we'll still all buy it. Whether it sells out because of us or scalpers, this will be gone day one. Let's look at, let's look at what Twitter has to think of the Switch Pro. <laughs> 
the, the switch? The cooler switch. <laughs> Don't buy it. It's the same switch, but the screen is new. Yeah. You already have a Nintendo Switch OLED if you plug it into an OLED HD TV. That's bad when you know the new 3DS had more upgrades on a system level than a Nintendo Switch OLED. Hey, yeah, yes. That's kind of what, what I expected though. I always wanted Nintendo to go all out, but I kind of figured they would just do a new system that was slightly better. I always go back to that example of Hyrule Warriors. You know, the 3DS had Hyrule Warriors it ran like poopy schmoopy. Then they had the new 3DS that was barely an upgrade. Let's be honest. But Hyrule Warriors now, man, it just was that enough to tick it over so that it could actually perform a little better. And Hyrule Warriors on Switch, it drops into single digits. Like, I love the Switch, but it's not performing to the standard that we should be at at this point like its own exclusive games are dropping down to the single digits we just needed something a little something to just pick it back up to the double digits that's it i'm not talking triple digits just pick it back up into the tens it's really all we needed here just a little boost halfway through this generation and there are people on the other side of the fence that are saying good good i'm glad they didn't separate the audience here and 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 drive a wedge in everyone that just bought a switch with this new outdated model by releasing something that's better but they still have done that they've still done that they've still released a better version with a better screen like whether you have the previous Switch or you're going to get this new OLED one, you still know there is going to be one that has games that look better on it because it has an OLED bigger screen. So they've already... That argument to me is mute. It's pointless. There's already going to be a better, more expensive version of the Switch. It may as well have a tiny bit better hardware in it too. The other one's outdated either way, is what I'm saying. There's no separation there. It doesn't divide the audience any more than this model does. This model just seems so like, like it gave up halfway. This is not the Nintendo Switch Pro you were looking for. No, it really isn't. <laughs> Another big thing I've seen is people still complaining about Joy-Con drift, which, I mean, I, yeah, screw it. At this point, I just, I agree, I guess. They, they haven't addressed it at all. And they keep releasing these new models without addressing it. Maybe these new Joy-Cons won't drift as easy, but they haven't said anything about that or mentioned anything about that. They keep releasing new switches and new models and new colors and new versions without addressing Joy-Con drift. Like, is Joy-Con drift unfixable just, that just is part of the switch and there's nothing they can do about it okay all right oh my god i know i know i know i just woke up i just had my coffee i'm a little grumpy as it is i'm not a morning person you'll have to forgive me i am excited for it i think it looks really cool it's just you know when i buy it and i make my video about it the video is literally going to be me opening it looking at it going oh the screen's big Turning it on, like, oh yeah, the screen looks better and it sounds better. That's my video, guys. There's not going to be any like, let's look at this game compared to this game or let's look how better it performs or see how much better the battery is because the battery is the same. So it's, I guess uh, it's just going to be one of them things where I, I buy another Switch and I open it and I'm like, oh, I didn't need another one. And we're all going to go back immediately. Like right now, we're in like the hype of a new Switch. But once it's out, we're all immediately gonna go straight back. I can guarantee you, I will, you probably will, the media probably will. We're all gonna go straight back into 4K Switch and wondering if Nintendo will make a 4K Switch. And it'll be like this never happened, you know, It'll just be another one of these revisions, another... It's going to be out there, and everyone's going to be wondering what's Nintendo actually going to do next. What is... Is there going to be a 4K this Switch? Or are we just waiting for the new one now? Like, what are the new... And it's going to start cycling all over again. We're going to have to deal with these rumors all over again. From nothing from Nintendo, from Bloomberg reporting, from YouTubers, to all these sources and fake leaks. It's going to start all over again. And I just, I'm just, I'm just done. I'm just, fr I'm just, I'm over it. I'm sick of talking about a Switch Pro that doesn't exist, apparently. 
or maybe it does still. Maybe it will happen still again. Who knows? But right now we have a Switch with a better screen and that's cool. And you know, I'll, that's cool. And when I'm playing Minecraft in bed in handheld mode, I'll go, <laughs> I can see an extra half an inch of Minecraft. That's great. <laughs> Do I upload this video? I let, let me let me let me hold on. Let me just do what everyone wants. Well, what I would want. Oh my God! There's a new Nintendo Switch. It's got a bigger screen and it's got it's got sound and the the, the dock it like it's like bigger and it flaps. And then there's oh, it's an Ethernet port. The GameCube had an Ethernet port, but now the Switch does too. Oh, it's so good. It's white. Oh, I can't wait. $350? Why not make it $500? Huh. I'll, we'll, we'll all buy it. Nintendo, you made it. It's too cheap, honestly, is how I feel. Let me know down below if you plan on picking up the new Switch. Uh, I have very mixed feelings on it. I do really think it looks cool. I'm excited for the box. And I hope I can get one day one. Other than that, I feel like the novelty of this new Switch will get old pretty quickly. And then we'll all go back to waiting for 4K. But let me know what you think. And subscribe if you like this video somehow. And can my Alexa seriously sh- Let me know what you think down below. I'll see if I have the balls to upload this video. Okay. Bye.